people from all over the globe are joining up to fight for the future. The bug. Since the emergency powers came into effect two weeks ago, we have been required to take enforcement action in limited situations. Pay attention. Thus far, across the whole of the country, we have issued over 500 fixed penalty notices. This has typically been during incidents where people do not comply with legal instructions. This year we explored the failure of democracy, how the social scientists brought our world to the brink of chaos. Even after being spoken to by officers. We talked about the veterans, how they took control and impose the stability that has lasted for generations since. You know these facts, but have I taught you anything of value this year? Hmm? You, why are only citizens allowed to vote? It's a reward, what the Federation gives you for doing federal service. No. No. Something given... For example, house parties or gatherings in public where those involved refuse to disperse. Has no value. A citizen accepts personal responsibility for the safety of the body politic, defending it with his life. Look, when you vote, you are exercising political authority. You're using force. And force, my friends, is violence. The supreme authority from which all other authority is derived. Uh, my mother always said violence never solves anything. Really? I wonder what the city fathers of Hiroshima would say about that. You. They probably wouldn't say anything. Hiroshima was destroyed. Correct. Naked force has resolved more issues throughout history than any other factor. The contrary opinion, that violence never solves anything, is wishful thinking at its worst. People who forget that always pay. <laughs> However, overall, compliance has been very high in Scotland, and I thank the public for their overwhelming cooperation and commitment. But do you understand it? Do you believe it? I don't know. Of course you don't. I doubt anyone here would recognize civic virtue. What's the moral difference, if any, 